Yeah, so Game joins G Unit and he drops a a big album, mm -hmm. the documentary, but then things go left. Yeah, I'm in Game here. And Game really on his West Coast thing. I've got Jim Jones too. I got put Game and Jim Jones to do, they do certified gangster, they do a mean one. First one Game did, they mad cause I did it. Leak out, that thing look good, it worked. But Game screaming, whatever you want artist. He screaming, man, I'm trying to do Black Wall Street on my own, I don't wanna be here no more. Jimmy honoring it, don't trip. We gonna just holler at dude and tell him, man, you trying to do some shit on the West Coast and you trying to do a lot of things to do with your own empire. He just ate, he can keep that little two albums. I'm sure he ain't gonna trip. Game had one of the, probably the best manager within the music industry today. And you know, I don't know how people don't do the mental health on Chris Lighty, man. Chris Lighty and Shakir Stewart really need a mental health aspect. But, but Chris Lighty had Magoo, Timberland, he, LL Cool J, and uh, he got 50 Cent. You know, I'm sure he learned a lot from this dude, Chris Lighty. But um, Chris Lighty is his negotiator, you know what I'm saying, for 50 mouthpiece. And he, don't, he wants future, he wants future um, incentives to, for game to be released. And it's really causing a lot of conflict. 50's acting like it's not what he want, he don't mind, but then, you know what I'm saying? It's causing a lot of different conflict, things going on. We having big meetings now. Russell, all these people gotta jump in. 50 and game holding big checks from here to where you at. Then they about to kiss on the cheek. Like, pipe it down some and let him out. He let him out. He let well, him out. There was a meeting that happened with Chris Lighty and Jimmy Henchman, and you were there as well. Yeah. And that meeting went bad. Yeah, that meeting went bad. Me, Jimmy, me, Jimmy, yeah. Bigger, yeah, yeah, sincere. Yeah, Teddy, Jason, we there. And like I said, that's when I just said that they having disputes on, no, no, we need future points on the album, man. Chris is negotiating that aspect. They got dudes with him, you know? 50 walking around with this dude, Maserati Fox and all this shit. They got dudes with him though, you know what I'm saying? They cooling. But you know, Chris Lighty, he, he got off the verbal negotiation as Jimmy, like you're not getting nothing though. Let the dude just go. Let him do him when we ain't gotta call each other for no sign off, no nothing. Let the man go do him so he could do him on his time. It ain't going right. Chris been in the game. He been negotiating right. He doing this with this Lord Doug Morris. The shit ain't going right. And, 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 and his characteristic get bad because it's not of Chris Light. He just get up and mush Jimmy. Boom, I don't care. You know, but Chris was nice too. Six, four, boom, boom, boom. Not to say he was a square, but he was, a businessman within, his, within, within music, but he just must Jimmy. Jimmy get up, square off, so he like it's dead now, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. Clear that, and I'ma holler at you, you know? And you know, shit start happening. Mike Lighty gets sliced in the face. Violator get hit up, and yeah, violator officers get shot up around this yeah, time. Yeah, violator officers get hit up, yeah. And it's as 50 trying to holler at him. But 50 changing the game. Well, I remember calling Jimmy, boy, he ain't playing right. What you mean? Boy, that nigga bodyguard from Cambodia and boo, boy, you hit the car, the bullet hit him back. He got bulletproof vests and bulletproof cars. And he like, I need to holler at dude, man. I need to talk to dude. And he going through his, he end up being a music mogul in really strategic situation of like, 
you know, it was a government within a government back then, you know? We making sure 50 kind of cool. My man Oomp from Miami messed with Irv Gotti them. So Oomp would holler at me, I'd be like, man, nah, we can't do nothing on dude. We trying to do a play with him. So he'd be like, man, dude, a fucked up dude, man. Oomp got sway, he just had a little stabbing. He beat on trial on TV with Ray Lewis. So it's as, I'm in the mix of everything. And I'm clearing the way for him as far as the South, Miami. So he ain't gonna let a person eat. Let me book you, man. Just let me book you. Tell him to let me get through it, you know? And one of his little soldiers just go ahead and do something erratic. Jimmy's son, Jabu, walked down the street and he slapped Jimmy's son, pa! And he was like, ah, damn it, man, you know, that's that man's son. Jimmy kind of like got out of the rim of the, the respect he had earned within the music industry. Like, yo, I need, I'm trying to find these dudes to talk to him and ask him, are you fucking nuts? You know? And he ain't really like, he ducking. Now he just bulletproof and everything up. You can't run up on fool. You ain't getting him. And it's like a lot of Jimmy, you know what I'm saying? It seems like he don't mind suffering for the cocaine situation, but he going through it with some bullshit ass violent situation. So it's like, hey, 50, you know this is bogus. Dudes got love for me and they doing what they doing for me. Come holler, man, you know the story. I got nothing to do with violence. But it's like 50 don't play it as that. All he play is a hostile takeover, but he ain't playing no hostile takeover like Bill Cosby to try to take over Fox News or Stars or Sun. He's just doing a hostile takeover on blacks, you know? And I'm out here now and I just be like, what's up, boy, I got 17 scripts. Hi, my movie, they be like, I'm talking to do Netflix and I'm talking to do, man, call 50. Man, that's 72 film companies, man. 1,440 cables, stop doing that, you know? Somebody got to tell dude, why you keep doing hostile takeovers on just music industry people? It's a 1,040 cable company. Go do one like Bill Cosby tried. 